right. Quarterback, Virginia Tech. Jason Pitts, wide receiver. Melanie, a medical degree from the University of San Diego is not as prestigious as Johns Hopkins. Come on. So? It's still in the top ten. So go back and tell your mother to tell her brother to tell his wife that her daughter is staying in San Diego. Okay, you lost me. Are we still cousins? <laughs> oh, there he is. Derwin Day, wide receiver. My baby's first professional game. Melanie. Sweetie, I know you're excited, but we... Really... Are you still on this? Yes. Your parents don't want you to throw your life away for your boyfriend. Look, they said they would give you your car back. <laughs> Joni, you're not negotiating for sane people. They repoed my car while I was getting a bikini wax. <laughs> well, at least the walk home felt good, right? Huh? <laughs> oh, uh-uh. Okay, all rookies, listen up. Okay. Here are the rules to assigned seating. Mm -hmm. You sit in the seat to which you are assigned. Oh. <laughs> Girl, why aren't you gathering your things? Was that, that was directed at me? Uh, 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 is your ass warming up seat 13? Oh, I'm sorry. During the preseason, the wives and the girlfriends can sit anywhere in the box. Well, this is the first game of the real season, so get your real ass in your real seat. <laughs> Okay. okay. My girlfriends. Beautiful day, sunny San Diego. Drew the door to the play on Hot 99. I thought I heard some noise in this kitchen. I'm cooking. Oh, and I was praying it was a hungry burglar. <laughs> Now, I thought we agreed that you would never cook again. Well, today is a special occasion. Sit down, sit down. I'm making you a celebratory breakfast. Baby, the cereal goes in. It's all good. Meal is served. Nobody died. <laughs> now, what else are we celebrating? That you made your first official catch. But I didn't make first down. But you still caught it. No, nah, baby, these are the pros. I gotta make every catch count. I can still get cut. I'm a third string wide receiver. Aw, baby. You're at least second string to me. <laughs> I was being hard on myself again, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for being here, baby. You know, I can't do this without you. Aw. Oh, you know what else I can't do? <laughs> Sit here from 10 to 2 and wait for the satellite company. Could you be here? Oh, and I'm out of protein mix. Oh, could you pick up my suit from the cleaners for the coach's party tonight? Uh, you do know I'm not going to med school online, right? Babe, I'm going to be in practice all day and you have my car. Well, then you drop me off. Look, this is a stressful time for me. And my parents have damn near disowned me. Your turn. Okay. Oh, God. Exactly. Lord, you've blessed us each with exciting new journeys. Please don't let those journeys get in the way of our journey together. And it's not that my journey's any more important. It's just that her journey goes right by the dry cleaners. <laughs> I'll pick up your damn suit. And please forgive her for her foul language. Amen. <laughs> Thank you, God. Oh, you're... Mm. Mm. Oh, come mm. here. Mm. Mm. I'm telling you, Melanie, they shrunk it. All right, just take off the jacket. What is going on with the crotch area in your pants? What? You don't feel your sperm count dropping? <laughs> Why didn't you say something before we left the house? Baby, I've been telling you that you needed some new suits. Oh, girl, don't talk about it. Be about it. I am not your assistant. But you are my girlfriend, and you got me out here looking like a runaway slut. Oh, don't be ridiculous. You could never run away in those. Okay, <laughs> nah, you know what? <laughs> Forget it. I'm just gonna sit down the whole night. But in fact, I have to. My pants just split. Now they want me to be a drop-back quarterback. I ain't one saying that last year when they signed me for $40 million. I know. 
If they really cared, they'd get a decent line. Look at Bob's big ass. <laughs> oh, man. He can't even protect the mushroom cap on his plate. How's he gonna protect you? Malik. Are you listening to me? Malik. Mom, do we have to do this right now? Look, this is not your mom talking. I'm your manager trying to steer your career. And I'll talk to the coach. In the meantime, stay in the pocket. And speaking of keeping things in your pocket, here's your mama talking. That one right there, looking at me the car note. That one's got two child support cases pending right now. And don't you even think about her, because she look like her syphilis got the syphilis. Derwin? Yes. Hi, I'm Jason Pitt's wife. Oh, yeah. Hi. I wanted to meet you since you're part of the receiver family now. And by the way, it was a good catch on Sunday. Everyone's still talking about it. But don't let it get to you. Okay. This is my girlfriend, Melly. Are you an out-of-town girlfriend or an in-town girlfriend? I'm the only girlfriend. Of course you are. <laughs> so, welcome to the San Diego Sabres organization. And I hope to see you, Melanie, at the Saber Sunbeam meeting this Friday. I'm sorry, what? The Saber Sunbeams, of which I am president for years now, is the charity arm of the organization. Giving back is a vital part of every football player's career. So this Friday, Melanie, it's very important you be there because this is the meeting where everyone signs up for their charity. Well, I'm sorry. Darren will have to sign himself up. I've got class all day. Uh, okay. <laughs> Looks like someone's gonna get stuck with Sabres for seniors. Hope oh, you don't mind losing a friend every week. Woman, if you spent less time worried about my life and more time worried about yours, Maybe I finally have a positive male role model. And you'd have somebody to take the edge off you. <laughs> okay, last time I took the edge off me, I ended up with your apple head. <laughs> Mom, I told you, I'm sensitive. Hey, go on and be sensitive to your Nike rep and let them hoochies be. The first save me, here come that happy woman. She's gonna try and get me to be in some of that damn Save the Sunbeam charity crap. Oh, no, no, no. You should give back. <laughs> Have fun. Holla. <laughs> Tasha. Kelly. You remember the rookie receiver's girlfriend? Oh, yeah. She was the one in my seats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so are you an out-of-town girlfriend or an in-town girlfriend? I'm the girlfriend who has her name on the lease. Here, babe. Put this in your purse. Uh-uh, Jason, not now. Here's your good brisket. Tomorrow's protein day. I'm gonna have it with some eggs and peanut butter. And here's uh, some straws. We're almost out. <laughs> what? You know Brittany likes to blow bubbles in her milk. Jason, I'm not putting greasy food in my Birkin bag. Where's the tinfoil I put in your purse? I took it out. Whoa. It's wrapped in two napkins. It's not like it's dripping. I don't want it in my Birkin. Baby, you don't have a Birkin bag. You have a bootleg bag. Just drop it in there. No. <laughs> All right, babe. Will you hold it for me, please? I'll go tip my hat to a couple folks. We can get out of here. Do you guys have some sort of bag or something back there? Are you okay? No, she ain't okay. Haven't you heard? She's married to the cheapest man alive. <laughs> He's not cheap. He's thinking about our future. Melanie, a lot of these rookies come in here and they spend all their money on the cars and the bling. Don't do that. You did. You spent $9,000 on that bag. No, I didn't. It's fake. And no, it's not. My daddy bought me one for my birthday. Well, maybe your daddy bought you a fake. Did you ever think about that? <laughs> Forget the purse. You're the one that got faked out. You married one of our best, as you all usually do. But you didn't benefit in the least. I didn't marry one of yours, I married Jason. Look, I know he's light, bright, and damn near white, but we still got dibs. <laughs> you can have him on your Million Man March, but he's still marching home to me. This is true what they say. White folk ain't scared of us no more. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> uh oh, Melanie, groupie alert. Oh, pff. he had groupies in college. I wasn't worried about them then, and I'm not worried about them now. Uh, cranberry juice and Pinot Noir. Thank you. You gonna not worry yourself out of a man? <laughs> this is the pros. The groupie game is played at a whole other level here. These women are hoeing for hummus, homes, and hedge funds. Trust. <laughs> Well, if he can be taken that easily, oh, then... Don't be naive. And watch that Dion over there. She's the worst kind. She's a groupie with a career. Image consultant. <laughs> I ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't consulting with no broke. <laughs> Receivers. I came on in, but I heard the screaming, and I thought this might be a penny from good time situation. <laughs> hey, honey, just go get your hat. <sighs> well, Tasha, what brings you by? What? A neighbor can't stop in and say hey? Well, you've lived here in Rancho La Jolla for a year and haven't so far. Well, I haven't needed anything till now. <laughs> so, about this Saber Sunbeam situation. I'll be there on Friday as long as Malik gets United Way. They do commercials. He's been taking acting classes. <laughs> well, as much as I want you and Malik involved, I can't bend the rules. You have to wait till the meeting. I'll comb your daughter's hair. United Way it is. <laughs> so, did you hear the dirt? Derwin hired Dion to be his image consultant. Well, I guess we can kiss little Miss Med School goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to help her. Now the only way for her to keep her man is to get pregnant. Brittany! Hurry up! Are you sure Britney's not trapped under some of this rubble? I'm sorry, girl, but this place is a hot mess. I tried to look past it, but damn. But we don't live like this normally. It's just with the start of the new season, Britney's starting school. I'm just a little overwhelmed. A little overwhelmed? Hmm. Honey, there's a cobweb over there that says some pig. <laughs> this isn't about Britney starting school. You must be acting out. What? I saw this on Oprah. Cause nobody lives this nasty. So come on, talk to me. Are you mad because he's cheat? Is he cheating on you? Is he abusive? Blink. I can get you to a safe house. No, my husband is fine and I'm not acting out. He just believes, I mean, we believe it's ridiculous to spend a lot of money on overpriced stuff we don't need. Like that $9,000 purse? I told you it's fake. Honey, I know fake. Before Malik got in the league, I was peeling fake purses out the back of my neon. Okay, it's real. I just wanted something for myself. But now I hate that purse because it represents who I've become. Perfect on the outside, but hollow and stinky on the inside. Kind of like this house. <laughs> <laughs> watch it now, watch it. Hey, watch yourself. Oh, watch oh, yourself. Oh, don't start. <laughs> looking Ooh, right, girl. That's right. Can't shame my mama. Can't mm -hmm. shame my mama. <laughs> hey, 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 baby. Hey. hey. How was school? Hard. <laughs> Melanie. Hi, I'm Dion. I've uh, been so looking forward to meeting you. Um, Derwin can't stop talking about you. Baby, Dion picked up a couple of suits for my new image. What do you think? You look good. And now he won't have to sit down all night at the coach's party hey, next I told, year. <laughs> I told you about that. I With the, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, Melanie, can you believe you sat there the whole night? <laughs> <Good. laughs> <laughs> Suffocating my stuff. <laughs> okay, uh, Derwin, I'm gonna step out so you can get your pants off. Did you step out when you put them on? Oh, hey. Hey. Of course I did. Baby. Ba ba baby. Baby, she's just trying to get them to the tail before they close. Come on, now. She does a lot for an image consultant. Now, see, I thought you would be happy. She's doing everything that you don't want to do. <laughs> oh. And the nights I don't feel like giving you some what? 
She's gonna roll over and do the job for me. Mm, so she, she rolling around in the bed with us when we get... Get, get thee behind me, Satan! I'm upset, and you wanna crack jokes? It's because you sound like a crazy woman. Um... I'm not gonna be able to get to the tailors on time, and, uh... I have another client to see, so... Derwin, would you still like me to attend the Sunbeam meeting tomorrow? Yeah, 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 just pick United Negro College Fund and Habitat for Humanity. Great, great. Um, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night, Melanie. Good night, Dion. Why are you wasting your money on her? Baby, I told you the game is more than just performing on the field. It's about what happens off the field, too. Now, look, if I dress better, if I speak better, if I conduct myself well, girl, that'll help attract the top agents and the managers, which means endorsement deals, baby, merchandising. I'm not just a football player. I'm a corporation. <laughs> Sunday, you barely caught a pass. And now you're already designing your Derwin action figure? <laughs> Darwin, um, I'm sorry. No, no, look, if you don't want to be a part of this, you can leave now. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. You can't be 39. That means you had him when you were 15. 15. <laughs> you little hoe. Slow your roll. We ain't cool like that yet. <laughs> Hi. Hey, Melanie. What are you doing here? The Sunbeam meeting is today, right? Not for folks in med school. So turn it around and get back to class. Oh, come on, people. One minute it's watch your man, the groupies are gonna get him. Now it's go back to class. What is it? We said watch your man. We didn't say give up your life. She did. She said this is the life of a saber woman. Giving up your hopes and dreams for your man. So sign me up. In all fairness, I was a little buzzed. <laughs> Hell, Derwin's gonna need you to become a doctor. He may not make it in the pros. Oh, he's gonna make it. He may not. He's going to make it. He may not. <laughs> of course he's gonna make it, Tasha. Kelly. You saw it. Come on, he didn't catch that ball. It hit him. <laughs> he's gonna make it. I may not. I can't study. I'm too busy Googling Dion. Hell, if I swung that way, I'd want her too. She's gorgeous. Graduated from Spelman and willing to kiss his ass. You found all that on Google? <laughs> I am done with Yahoo. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm gonna lose him. She's already got us fighting. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Suck back those tears. <sighs> God, I can't. I gave up Johns Hopkins for him and my parents. This isn't fair. I thought all I'd have to do was show up for eight home games and maybe set a few fractures. You know, once I learn how. <laughs> now I've got to do charity work. What about my needs? Sweetie, maybe the best thing he did for your relationship was hire Dion. Now what? what? <laughs> you two have a lot on your plate right now. Trust me. Let Dion focus on the little things so you can focus on each other. Because without each other, the rest of it doesn't matter. My husband may be cheap, but at least at night, when I'm lying next to him, I know he loves me. Ooh. What's wrong? I need a man. <laughs> you went to that sunbeam meeting? I got your habitat. 
In the off season, you're going to be building houses in New Orleans. Thanks. I do want to be here. And I want you here. It's just more than I expected. Me too. So, if I freak out sometimes, because you know I will, <laughs> you can't go kicking me out like some out-of-town girlfriend. And you can't talk like you don't believe in me. I need you. Uh, because that's the only way I'm going to get my own action figure, my own shoe, my own energy drink, my own groupie. Oh, <laughs> Girl, I can't even catch a pillow. You better get back and study. <laughs> you may need something to fall back on. <laughs>